know, for a lot of these clients, they haven't finished anything. They didn't finish high school. They didn't, they've never finished anything they've started. Because I think the easy thing for them to do is to run. When things get bad, that's the easiest way out to take off. And, and part of that is because when you're in, when you're not in a program, and you go to jail or something happens, you, you're getting out with no hope. You're back to the same old doldrums, the same old problems that you had before. And that's not what drug court does. Even when you do bad, you're getting out back to family, back to people that are trying to help you. And so it changes the dynamics of people wanting to be here and finish programs. I would, when I was asked about this program, you know, uh, if there's anything I would change and there isn't nothing I would change because the way this program is set up, it's not set up for failure, it's set up to succeed. It's set up to, for you to be able to take it in if you want it, only if you want it though. Graduation is a ceremony to uh, celebrate your 18 months of, of doing, you know, drug court. It's um, an opportunity to tell people things that you probably never got a chance to tell them or should have told them and never did. Um, but it's, it's their day to shine. And again, like I said, most of them have never got to that point. They've never experienced what it's like to finish something. So it's a big thing for them. Well, I'm still nervous. It's a little nervous. It's the first thing I've ever accomplished, really positive thing I've ever accomplished. I never thought I had a problem. It took me two years, like about, you know what I mean, to get into drug court and whatnot and to graduate finally. But to realize, I, I just had to find myself. I, I had lost, I lost myself. Getting sent to jail and being put into this program has set him straight. For those individuals who struggle with their addiction and never had any help for that addiction, they find this level of help um, extremely useful for them, um, very valuable. A lot of them have walked away thanking the program for the level of structure it offered, even though they might have not liked it in the beginning, um, because we pretty much have them running around doing everything, trying to keep them busy. And in the end, they have thanked us for the structure of the program and have really tried to talk to the, the newer people about, yes, you're going to hate it now, but you're going to love the results later. So we've had a, a lot of gratitude expressed from our graduates. I would like to thank probation, Ms. Martinez and Mrs. Walla, the judge, Ms. Morton. There's a gap of people where custody time or being in jail does not help them. So the drug court program is there to assist them, that community, that type of group of people. It took me time, I'm not going to lie. It took me time to continue and knowing what I want with life. It's not easy to just leave one substance to another, you know? It's not easy to change your life right away. They showed me that where I belong and what I need to do in life, you know? To be a good parent, to be a good husband, and just to be successful in life. What do we consider success? It's a great question because people come at it from all different angles, which I'm glad because to just look at success as at recidivism rates is not a fair picture of what people can accomplish while they're in drug court. So success means that they've reduced or eliminated their drug or alcohol use, that they've gained employment, that they've enrolled in or, or somehow uh, increasing their uh, education, that they've gone to parenting classes and become better parents, that they get engaged in the community, which is one of our requirements, that they do community service and get re-engaged in the community. Um, and they start looking at themselves as more productive people that belong in a law-abiding society. And when we can get people there, uh, we've been successful. Mm -hmm.